Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decisions, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that will be uploaded. Thank you. Hello there. You are very much welcome joining me once again on my YouTube channel. Thank you for following me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing these videos. Today we are going to start a new series and um, probability distribution or what is called normal distribution. I trust you find this series quite interesting to deal with um, at the end. Please drop a comment, one, uh, drop a comment in the comment section and do not forget to share this video, like and most importantly subscribe to my channel. We're going to look at um, probability distribution. What do we mean by probability distribution? Probability distribution, it's a way of measuring performance and measuring um, representations of persons within a group. Now, most times when you are given, um, like let's say between um, a particular town to another town let's say it takes about three hours to get there normally but then sometimes we say it takes three hours but when I say plus or minus 30 minutes it means that that plus or minus 30 minutes is the allowance which gives us what we call the standard deviation but then the three hours which is the normal time is the mean of the distribution meaning that that's the normal time it will take for everybody you have a normal mean value which is the most popular value that shows the behavior of the distribution but where you have a standard deviation which shows the allowance for uh, delays or allowance for shortfalls or allowance for outgrowth allowance for better performance depending on the individual that's where you have the standard deviation so the relationship between the mean value and uh, the standard deviation is what we will illustrate in normal distribution um, now let's look at what we have let me explain one by normal distribution in a typical um, bell-shaped um, gaussian curve let's look at what we have on our board um, there are certain characteristics that we need to know of normal distribution. Let, let me write up here. We have characteristics of normal distribution. And one of the characteristics is that the mean, the mean is at the center the center of the distribution the mean is at the center of this number two it is bell shaped bell shaped number three the data lie equally on both sides of the curve of the curve and then how do we it's also it is symmetrical symmetrical now this can be illustrated this way let me draw a bell shape like this we have a bell shaped normal curve so that at the center we have this is a sign for mean 
at the center is the mean. Now, on either side, the first deviation from the mean is one deviation from the mean. So we have something like this. We have mean minus deviation. This is a sign for deviation. Then the other one on the, no, plus, this is plus positive. On this side, we have the mean minus deviation. This one deviation from the mean. The second one, we have another one on the left. This is two deviation from the mean. And then on this side, we have another deviation from the mean. Then at the extreme, we have also on this extreme, we will have three deviations from the mean and on this side we'll have three deviations from the mean. Now, according to theories of probability, 68% of the data lies at one deviation from the mean. That is this one deviation from the mean, either on the left or on the right, you have the majority of data. So that you have 34% here and you have 34% here. That's what, that's what gives us 68%. 68%, let me write it here. 68% lie within one deviation, standard deviation from <coughs> Now, we have another 95% lie within two standard deviations from the mean. From, like from the mean. And that native is made up of 13.5 on this side percent and 13.5 on this side. Then we now have all, of course, almost everybody lie within three standard deviation from from the mean so that that is made up of 2.5 on this side and you have 2.5 percent on this side so this is a typical normal distribution now mind you we have a situation of illustrating the mean which is at the center of our distribution that's the most popular value across the distribution and on this side too we have 50 percent if you add up this this makes us 50 percent now also this side is also 50 percent so there's a mirror representation we have 50 percent on this side and 50 percent on the side of a normal distribution. That's why we say it is symmetrical. And data lie equally on both sides, meaning 50% on the right and 50% on the left. Now, I want you to take note of these um, values here. I've written, this is one mean, one, one standard deviation, this is two standard deviation, and this is three standard deviation. So sometimes we may need to find out from a given distribution how much, what, what is the level of deviation or how much deviation is that value from the mean. This is just a general representation of one, two, and three on the right. And then we have minus one, minus two, and minus three on the left. But sometimes if you are given a value and you're told that the mean is this, this is what is general as a mean, but you're not given a value. How do you know how many standard deviations from the mean will that value be? That's the essence of looking at this question up here. Now, I want you to take note of something, um, my viewers. Take note of this value, this representation here. We have this here. We want to know the deviation the, the number of deviation from the mean. 
we want to know the number of deviation from the mean. And that will be that for us to know the number of deviation from the mean, it will be that we have our data, which is x, equal to our mean, excuse me, our, um, um, our x value equals to what we have here. What you have here, you have this, which is our mean plus our standard deviation. Our mean plus our standard deviation. But we do not know the value of the standard deviation. So we are going to represent the value of standard deviation. Now, mind you, this is one here, and this is two here, and this is three here. We are going to represent it by having the mean plus, we are going to introduce a value. A, a, a value, a, a variable called Z and we have the standard deviation. This is what we have here. So this is the mean plus, we don't know the number of standard deviation and then we have our, we don't know the number of standard we are represented by Z and then we have the standard deviation sign here. We want to know how many standard deviations. So we have to make Z here the subjects of the formula and to do that first of all we're going to move this mean to this side so this becomes x minus mean equals to z standard deviation that's what we have then to make this the subject of the formula we have a standard deviation come to the base divide both sides by this divide both sides by this this crosses this. So that means Z becomes X minus mean all over the standard deviation. So this is the value for determining what we call the Z score. This Z score will be used to determine how many standard deviation a particular value is from the mean from there, we can locate it, the probability in a probability table. For us to know what it will take to locate that value in a probability. So we must always take note of this formula in dealing with normal probability. This is a Z score equals to X, which is a data point, minus Z, minus uh, mean value, divided by standard viral standard deviation. So based on this background, I'm going to look at this example up here. Please look up at this example. The scores for a test is normally distributed with a mean value of 40. And the standard deviation is given a standard deviation of 5. How many standard deviations from the mean Will a student be that scores um, 30 or 35 or 55? Sometimes you can have this written as 40, 40 plus or minus 5. This plus or minus 5 is the standard deviation. It means that normally at one standard deviation, you have students that will score 40 minus 5 is 35. So 40 plus 5 is 45. So that's what it means. By telling you that it's plus or minus 5, it means that at one standard deviation, most of the students will score between 35 and 45. If it's two standard deviation, we'll multiply our standard deviation by 2, that means 10, so that we can have, this is for one standard deviation. So if we multiply 5 by 10, you are going to have 2 by 5, that would be 10. Now, 40 minus 10 will give us 30. So, 40 plus 10 will give us 50. This is our two standard deviation. Now, that means um, if we have three standard deviation, 3 times 5 is 15. 40 minus 15 is 25. So, 40 plus 15 is 55. 
So these are three standard deviations. It means that any value that you want to pick in a distribution, follow me here, in a distribution will lie within this distribution. So let me quickly answer this question up here using our Z score formula. Now let's we're told that a student that scored 30, I'm going to answer this here. Z is equal to, we already have this, so this is X minus mean all over standard deviation. So X is 30 minus, X is 30 minus our mean, mean is 40, divided by standard deviation is 5. We are fine. So this is 30 minus 40. That gives us 10 minus 10 divided by 5. It means that this is minus 2. This means that any student that scored 30 in this um, in this in this exam li uh, lie within two standard deviation from the mean. That's what it means. Now this other one is z equals to, we will repeat this, equals to 35. Let's say 35 minus 40 divided by 5. That gives us 35 minus 40 is what? Is minus 5. So we have minus 5 divided by 5. That is minus 1. So a student that scored 35 in this case is lying within one standard deviation from the mean. Then the last one, follow me, the question is 55. A student that scored 55, where will we be lying? A student that scored 55 will be 55 minus 40 divided by 5. That gives you 55 minus 40, that's 15, divided by 5, we have 3. So it's 3 standard deviation um, from the mean. Now, anyone that lies, the, the higher the deviation from the mean, the more extreme the values are. The higher the deviation from the mean, the more extreme at the, at the, at the table, That's, I mean at, at, at the curve. If you look at this, you have this here. These values are more extreme on this end and on this end, either on the negative or on the positive. But these values show the majority. It shows the majority and from the majority you have more values streaming down until you get to the, um, to the end of it. Then you will notice that this normal curve, this line, the, the curve line do not touch the, do not touch the axis. It shows that it is Asymmetric. Asymmetric means that it doesn't doesn't touch the the axis. So um, in the in the next video, we are going to take a, a question and see how we can apply normal distribution to um, a typical uh, question, a statistics question. Thank you very much. Please play this video again. Like it. I would like to hear from you on certain questions you may have on this subject. Thank you.